When the AUKUS Trilateral Security Pact between Australia, the United Kingdom, and the United States was announced on the 15th of September 2021, it became evident that military cooperation will greatly enhance between these nations. The U.S. State Department has approved a potential foreign military sale to Australia of advanced anti-radiation guided missiles extended range AARGM ERs with an estimated price tag of $506 million. Sales announcements are not final. Foreign military sales, or FMS, will have to be approved by Congress, but it's unlikely to face any objections. According to the Pentagon, the weapon is compatible with the FA-18, F-16, and the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, the latter of which is set to be the mainstay of Australia's military aviation fleet for years to come. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how American AARGM ER could help Australia thwart potential Chinese aggression. Let's get started. Australia is already a customer of Northrop Grumman's AGM 88E Advanced Anti Radiation Guided Missile, AARGM, having made a purchase in June 2013. Now, the country has confirmed its intention to acquire the latest extended-range version, known as the AARGM-ER. Australia is seeking to buy up to 63 AARGM-ERs and up to 20 AARGM-ER Captive Air Training Missiles, or CATMs. Also included, per the announcement, are dummy air training missiles, AARGM-ERDATMs, containers, component parts, and support equipment, repair of repairables, software, classified and unclassified, publications, classified and unclassified, training, classified and unclassified, transportation, U.S. government and contractor engineering support, and other related elements of logistical and program support. The deal is essentially meant to provide Australian forces with better capability against China. The backdrop is critical here and comes at a juncture when the relationship between Australia and China has seen major deterioration. It's interesting to note that relation was cordial, but this changed since President Xi Jinping took over. The situation became worse after Australia asked for a free and fair probe into coronavirus origin and China retaliated with a higher tariff on Australian goods and import restrictions. China has even threatened Australia with military action. Sometime back, in a speech to the Australian Defence Force Academy in Canberra, Scott Morrison, who was then Prime Minister of Australia, said his country must face the reality that we have moved into a new and less benign strategic era. Air superiority is the key to modern warfare. To counter Western aerial domination, countries like Russia and China have deployed sophisticated air defense systems as part of the Anti-Access and Area Denial A2AD, strategy. Russia has deployed S-300 and S-400 and is in the process of operationalizing the S-500. China has HQ-9 and HQ-12 SAM. These weapons could inflict a huge amount of damage to aerial assets like fighters, bombers, aerial tankers, and airborne warning and control system aircraft. ARM, or anti-radiation missile, are designed as a counter to advance air defense systems. This kind of missile is designed to detect and home in on an enemy radio emission source. Typically, these are designed for use against an enemy radar, although jammers and even radios used for communications can also be targeted in this manner. This type of missile is commonly carried by specialist aircraft in the Suppression of Enemy Air Defenses SEAD, role. The primary purpose of this type of missile is to degrade enemy air defenses in the first period of a conflict in order to increase the chances of survival for the following waves of strike aircraft. They can also be used to quickly shut down unexpected surface-to-air missile SAM, sites, during an ongoing air raid. Radars are like eyes of the air defense, and once it's taken out, it becomes severely handicapped. Often, SEAD escort aircraft also carry cluster bombs, 
which can be used to ensure that after the arm disables the SAM system's radar, the command post, missile launchers, and other components or equipment are also destroyed to guarantee that the SAM site stays down. AARGM is an air-launched weapon intended to destroy enemy air defense systems. It offers improved capabilities over the harm or high-speed anti-radiation missile system it replaces. The AARGM features new software and enhanced capabilities to counter jamming through electronic warfare. Previous versions of the missile could be dodged by turning off the radar before the weapon could lock onto their signals. AARGM contains a multi-mode guidance package containing a GPS-assisted inertial navigation system as well as a millimeter wave radar that can locate targets even if they stop emitting radio frequency or other signals or even begin to move. AARGM-ER is an extended range version of the current AARGM weapon. AARGM-ER uses the same sensors, electronics, and warheads as its predecessor. However, differences include a larger rocket engine and tail upgrades to extend its range and improve its maneuverability. The missile also has its mid-body wings removed and replaced with a short strake along its length. AARGM has a range of 150 kilometers or 92 miles, whereas AARGM ER will have a range of 300 kilometers or around 185 miles. The missile can also relay data in its final moments to confirm whether or not it successfully hit its intended target. The Chinese military is being used as a tool by the Chinese Communist regime to push its expansionist policies. Canberra is putting significant resources into upgrading the Australian Defense Force's land capabilities as it reconfigures to face a potential future conflict in the Asia-Pacific region, with China being the main rival. AARGM-ER would provide a major boost to Australia. In a statement, the U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency, or DSCA, said, This proposed sale will support the foreign policy and national security objectives of the U.S. Australia is one of our most important allies in the Western Pacific. It's vital to the U.S. national interest to assist our ally in developing and maintaining a strong and ready self-defense capability. The approved deal will also require the U.S. contractor representatives and government personnel to make a temporary visit, along with program technical oversight and support requirements to Australia for the execution of this deal. If everything goes smoothly, the missiles will likely be delivered starting in 2025. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.